Get this, more than 33 million small businesses are operating across the U.S. It's according to Forbes. So if you think there isn't room for your business, there is more than enough room to go around. Arkin McCoy helps you out with a few tips to get started in Money Matters. When it comes to starting a business, it's okay to start small. A small business is someone who has started their business from scratch. The business is owner operated. The owner is still running it. Revenue is their primary source of income. They're not trying to raise millions and sell for billions. They are a true small business. They are generating revenue. They are they have built a product or a service and they are selling it and delivering it. But before you get started, make sure you have a clear vision. When you start a small business, it's really easy, I think, to get distracted by all the storylines of all the things you should do. What we really believe is true is that first you've got to get very clear on what you want to deliver and who you want to deliver it for. If you've got something you want to deliver to the world that you feel you are uniquely equipped to do, passionate about, skilled in, and then you've got a customer target base, a group of humans that you feel uniquely excited about serving, transacting with, supporting, delivering to, those are the two pillars of a business, what we do and who we do it for. Also, set realistic goals. One of the biggest frustrations that we have is that we see so many smart and incredible people who have all the capability in the world to build a very healthy small business, set such unrealistic goals and targets and put so much pressure on themselves that they fail, not because they're not good enough and not because their business can't succeed, but because their expectations were just completely unrealistic. So we always try to say to our businesses, imagine you wanted to lose weight. If you said you were going to lose a hundred pounds in three weeks, you'd fail. That's not because it's impossible to lose a hundred pounds. It's because you've set an unrealistic goal. And we see this with small businesses all the time. And yes, you may need money to start, but not as much as you think. So money is complicated for a small business. The reality is it's really hard to get capital to start a small business. And so I'm a really big believer in starting your business, spending the least amount of money possible. Uh, I fall into this issue as well. I want everything to be perfect. And so I think if I had five hundred thousand dollars I could do everything exactly the way I wanted but the reality is I could probably get going for maybe ten thousand dollars right and so I would say that my first piece of advice would be whatever you think it's going to cost you to start your business slash the budget by 80 percent and figure out how to do it cheaper scrappier because once you start the business you learn so much about it don't spend all the money up front for Fox 54 News I'm Ken McCoy